All right, I wanted to take a minute and show you the work for number 11. So I, I just sorted out and I put down some information based on what number 11 said. So it said to calculate the pressure that's in TOR. If you have a volume of 12.2 liters, it says that you have a sample of gas. So you think about a gas and remember that gases a lot of times are a mixture of different gases, right? So it says that you've got so much carbon dioxide, you've got so much sulfur dioxide, and you've got so much argon all put together and it gives it to you as masses, right? And then it tells you that you've got a temperature of 42 degrees Celsius. And so you think about all this information you have, you've got a volume, you've got some masses which you could convert to moles, you've got temperature and you always have R, right? So based on this information, you're talking ideal gas law, PV equals NRT, in which you're solving for pressure, right? So pressure would equal NRT over V, and now it's just a matter of plugging in what you know. Now, we didn't know moles, but we have mass, which means we can convert to moles, so that's what I did. I took my mass of CO2 divided by my molar mass, and I got 0 0.0532. I took my mass of SO2 divided by my molar mass, and then I took my mass of argon divided by my molar mass, and I was able to get my data for all three. Now, put them all together, and you end up with uh, 0.164 moles approximately for the amount of moles of your gas. So now it's a matter of plugging that into the formula equation that you have in order to solve for pressure. So let's go ahead and, and do that. So in order to solve for pressure, um, we're going to plug in. So we got our N, 0.164. We got our R, which is 0 0.0821, temperature, which is 315, and that's over our volume, which is 12.2 liters. And we plug that in, and we calculate, and we get 0 0.164, 0 0.164 times 0 0.0821 times 315 and then divided by our 12.2 and we get 0.348 again that's atmospheres but the question didn't ask for atmospheres right so this is where you might have gotten wrong because you might have picked this for the answer and stopped but the question asked for tor so remember that in one atmosphere there are 760 tors so we're going to take that 0.348 times our 760 and you should get about 263 or 264. Now, based on your choices, which answer most closely represents what the pressure could be, and you'll see that it would be 263 torr. Now again, y'all, this is most closely represents, um, based on where you're rounding, you might have rounded and got 264, 263, or even possibly 265. And either way, again, look for the, the answer that's most closely representing what it asks. And so that's it. So you are um, done. And uh, now let's take a look at number 11, uh, 13. All right, let's continue. Let's look at 13. So again, I've written down some information that we know. 13 and 11 are very similar to each other. Um, we're given some masses. We're given a mass of two gases that are in a sample. We've got carbon monoxide. We've got carbon dioxide. It tells us we have five grams of each. So I went ahead again and converted them to moles. All right, any time you're given a mass for a gas in a sample, always make sure you have it in moles because remember that the only way you can solve a calculation with gases is you've got to know moles right so you got to convert those grams to moles before you can do anything now when you do that again you're going to get a total moles for your sample right so you've got your moles of your gas which is a collection it's a combination of co and co2 now you've got a volume, I've converted that to liters because it should always be in liters when dealing with ideal gas law, a temperature which again is converted to Kelvin because it should always be in Kelvin, and a pressure that we don't know but we're going to find out in just a minute that our pressure in our sample, sorry that number's wrong, is going to be, it's going to be about 10, all right, and we're going to find that out in just a minute but let's see how. So we've got our ideal gas law which is 
now solving for pressure because we don't know pressure, right? It's asking us for actually the partial pressure, but we can't know partial pressure, right? It's asking us for the partial pressure because it's saying the pressure of CO2, but we have to know the total, need total to get partial. All right, so what do we know? Well, we know our moles of our gas is 0.293. We know our ideal uh, gas constant, 0 0.0821, and our temperature, which is 323 Kelvin. And we know our volume, right? Our volume is 0 0.750 liters. So those are all things that we know in this problem. All right, so we plug those in. So 0 0.293 times our 0 0.0821 times our 323 and we get a pressure, I'm sorry, divided by then, our 0.750, and we get a pressure of about 10.4 atmospheres. Okay, but we're not done. Next, now it tells us that we want not the total pressure, right? This is the total pressure. We want the pressure of, is it asking for, I think it's asking for CO, not CO2. So let me fix that. So remember that pressure or partial pressure is equal to one of two things. It's either equal to the total pressure times the mole fraction or mole factor, right? or the partial pressure of each together should give us the total pressure. But since all we have is total and moles, that's the formula we're going to want to use, right? Because we don't know the pressure of CO2 either. So we're going to want to figure out, based on our total pressure and our moles, what the partial pressure of CO would look like. So we've got our total pressure. And we have our mole, our mole factor. Now remember, mole factor is moles of the CO over total moles. So what's it going to look like? Well, our moles of CO is 0.179 over our total, which is 0.293. And that should give us our mole factor. So we plug it in. We take that 0.179 divided by our two, or I'm sorry, our 0.293, and we get about 0.611 for our mole factor. Now it's a matter of plugging it in. So pressure of CO equals our 10.4 times our 0.611, and we get about 6.35. and that most closely, ma closely matches which of the answers, and it would be A, right, 6.31, um, and that would be it. We would be done. Now, part of the reason why I got 0 .6 or 6.35 is because I rounded, um, I rounded a little bit too much on a couple times. Um, try to leave it in your calculator to do all your calculations, but I was doing my calculations on a phone, and so that affected my results. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, that's it.